it's been a hectic few days. Um, but it's all good. You know, we're going to keep it moving. But before we do, I got to send a, be- a special birthday shout out to my oldest daughter, Leilani, who I love very much. Uh, she's visited the studio with me several times. So I wanted to start off the day by wishing her a happy birthday. She's with me today, obviously, but I want it on air as well. Oh, de- definitely happy birthday. Um, I know if she was if she was standing next to you right now, she would get at me because the Rockets beat the Lakers in, uh, in game one. And she knows how I feel about LeBron, and I know how she feels about James Harden. But a happy happy birthday. And we, we might as well just get right into this Lakers-Rockets right. <laughs> series with that with that being said. Uh, you know, it was it was it was a tough one, but again, you know, I didn't I didn't pick the Lakers to sweep this series. Um, but you know, this, this was the feel out. You know, I think LeBron goes into every series. LeBron is like uh, is tactical, like Mayweather, where Mayweather checks out. You know, the first four rounds, he's observing the fighter, saying what you're going to do. LeBron uses game one to see what you're going to do. Um, he, you know, he said he said we realized uh, we figured out the speed. I guess how fast uh, the Rockets were. In game one, so I think they'll be ready this uh, this evening to come back and take game two. And ultimately, I think they 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 knock off the Rockets. Um, I, I said I said six for five. If James Harden plays like he did in in, in game uh, in game seven against OKC, so I'm still sticking with with the with the Lakers in six. But you know I I do I do think they, they the Lakers bounce back tonight. They know what they got to do in order to beat Houston, and I think they bounce back tonight, and it'll be one one um, by the end of the weekend. Uh, yeah, I agree. Um, and in regards to, like you said, you, you and Leilani have had this ongoing beef back and forth uh, because she's been a James Harden fan for quite some time. So uh, she was watching a game the other night with a little bit of a smirk on her face as well. But um, yeah, I, I'm not surprised that Houston took game one. We talked about it the other day in our, in our preview of the second round. And I said that Lakers being on for a week, you get a little rusty. You have to adjust to the game speed, as you mentioned. And it showed that night they had a you know a really bad second half of that game, and they 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 were trying to figure it out. I think they'll make the adjustments. I said all along I had Lakers in six games, and to remind people all the time, you know, people assume that game one is the end all be all. Game one is just the start of the fight, as you mentioned. That's the first few rounds of a fight. Game two to me is where the series really starts because that's where you start to see the adjustments. So I expect LeBron and AD to make some adjustments tonight. I expect them to figure out ways to take away the efficiency that Houston played with the other night, even though Houston didn't shoot a high as high of a three point percentage as I thought they would. Again, as you mentioned, I think their speed caught the Lakers a little bit off guard and the Lakers rustiness happened. So I don't, I wasn't surprised by anything we saw in game one. I, I would be more surprised if the Lakers came out flat tonight. Yeah, exactly. I agree with you. I'll be surprised. Even with, with Rondo coming back, you could tell he was shaking off the rust, but I actually liked Rondo being out there on the floor for the Lakers you know he's still working back into his groove, but he he had a couple of a couple of big shots that I, that I like, and I'm like, all right, Rondo's back, and we saw the difference when the Lakers actually had someone else that could actually facilitate the offense with Rondo being back out there because he's literally the only other you know uh, floor general that they have. So when LeBron goes to the bench, I'm actually okay now knowing that Rondo was out there and he can kind of set the tone for the offense and he can play defense as well. So I'm looking forward to, uh, to, to, to game two. Again, I think the Lakers have a bounce back performance. Don't, 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 don't lose faith yet. If you, if you've been rocking with the Lakers, don't lose your faith. Just like uh, they lost game one against uh, Portland and we saw what happened right after that, even though Houston, I believe is a better team than Portland is, but I still think the outcome doesn't change. The Lakers win this series and they move on to the next round. Smush Parker here, formerly up to the Los Angeles Lakers, and you are now tuned into Real Fans Real Talk. Live from the camp. Live from the camp. Uh-huh. This is Real Fans Real Talk. Talk. Real Fans Real Talk. We as real as you thought. Real 